Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for Thursday, December 8th, 2022. Well, doggone it, yesterday just turned out to be a bit of a chop fest. We didn't get a whole lot done. In fact, it was just a pretty boring day wandering around in the market. But because we have held support levels in the charts, that may actually be a good thing. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, when I look at the shorter term um, look of the chart here, we do want to recognize that we may be running into um, just a little bit of a concern here where we may be slipping kind of past that that trend in in the Dow. Now, the Dow has been the most extended, in fact, very parabolic, honestly, in the short term of the chart. And um, the pullback here recently created a little bit of concern here. Notice we broke these support levels here in the chart, pushing back down. But the good news is that we have held here. So yesterday we had a little bit of, I mean the day before yesterday, we had um, a test of this support and yesterday we tried to pop a little bit, couldn't really get any energy going, but we ended up holding here um, that level. Now one of the good things about that I mentioned is that we may spill off a little bit of this wild volatility that we've been seeing and these big swings of four, five, six hundred points um, all in one move. We may be spilling a little bit of that off and a little bit of rest here in this pattern. And honestly, I think that would be a good thing. The, the, the really positive thing here um, in the Dow is that we've held this price support. And as long as that price support holds, we run that opportunity that there'll be something in economic or earnings data or something out there that will inspire those bulls to push back up. So keep a close eye on that. Now, if the bears somehow find inspiration, and they certainly could with the data that we have uh, coming our way and um, worries about recession, then we would look for a break of this support and then a test of the next support levels in the chart and they may be down in this area and if that fails possibly a little bit lower if those bulls hold on in in, in here and we find inspiration for the bulls then let's look for some resistance levels right up in here in that chart now that's a big move um, several hundred points uh, to move back up into that area so let's watch th that closely and if they can push on through there well, then maybe back up here, which is um, about a thousand point move just going right back up there. I know it doesn't look like much on the chart, but the way we've been so volatile, those are big point moves. So watch carefully for those possibilities. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, SPY in a, is in a little bit more critical situation here in the chart. And as you'll notice in here, we're kind of setting right on this price support and we weren't able to move through um, and really produce um, any bullishness yesterday that um, inspired. But once again, we're holding in here, and I think that's a good sign. Um, the bulls have just enough energy to hold us on, hold us uh, above this support level in the chart. Now, if we take a look trend-wise, you can see we're kind of setting right there right there at that trend. So we've got a little bit of a double support level here in the chart uh, to maybe provide us a little bit of price support. And I know there's still an awful lot of hope and hype that there will be a Santa Claus rally here uh, for the end of the year, but I think that's really gonna be data dependent, whether or not um, the PPI is showing a good enough um, um, uh, retraction to uh, warrant some bullishness here to, to help out the FOMC. That'll be on Friday. Then we've got the FOMC on Wednesday. We've got a CPI report next week as well. 
so it could be very data dependent and could create some pretty substantial gaps and whipsaws um, as those data points come out but that being said if the bulls can hold on to this level then i think we're in pretty good shape to attack some of these resistance levels above so if those bulls find that inspiration we'd look for those resistance levels right in here see if we can push up into there that's a pretty big point move and then it's a giant point move to move back up in here and possibly even break out so watch that if those bears find the inspiration and we break the support then we do have a bit of a problem here because that's going to break support that's going to break trend at the same time and the next support level would be down in here someplace so um, could be a substantial pullback um, in the market so watch carefully if that were to occur if we take a look at our QQQ now our QQQ uh, really kind of a difficult situation because at this point there really is no trend here in the chart we have not been able to produce a higher low and follow through so looking at this chart you can see if if you wanted to draw a trend you might try that right there and that that would be reasonable to um, to look at in the chart we need to be bouncing around here pretty soon but this is where we'd really need to potentially set the trend if we could get a bullish move and then follow through um, what we've had is a lot of herky-jerky price action with big point moves that um, probably leave more questions and answers on the future direction here of the market. Now, keeping that in mind, that's, this support is extremely critical um, here in the QQQ. If this support gives up, you'll notice that there really isn't much left um, in price support down here. We certainly have a lot of price action but no clear support maybe down in here we could catch a little bit of price support there and if that were to fail then i think we're raw really probably looking at testing the lows here in um, um, qqq so watch watch that carefully now if we can continue to hold here and those bulls find that inspiration Let's look for some resistance levels right in here and then possibly even higher if we can push on through that area. So lots of work here needs to be done. Those bulls need to find some kind of an inspiration. And, and I think relatively soon, unless we go into a very light choppy consolidation, which honestly would be a healthy thing for the market. And then if we check out um, the Russell, IWM, well, IWM has a little bit more of a difficult effect. Um, I, I got to tell you, this is turning bearish. Um, if we take a look at the Russell, you notice that we've broken down here. We failed at our downtrend, which causes some problems here uh, for the chart. And then not only that, did we, we broke this support level um, that I've been pointing out in the other indexes. So when we make a, a double top high and fail and make a new low, what you want to be watching for is that potential. I'm not saying this is going to be the case, but you want to be watching for the potential on any rally back to make a lower high. And then that creates um, a six, substantial technical damage um, um, appearance of a chart so watch that close um, so breaking this support is pretty critical now one of the ways we can fix that is we would need to recover prove to hold and then push higher out of that so it's still possible that um, um, IWM um, can turn this around and come back up but it's a little bit more challenging. Now, if those bears find um, further inspiration here, we've already broken that support here in the chart. Well, look down in here, we've got a little bit of price support down in here and a little bit stronger price support down around that area. So pretty substantial fall if those bears um, get very active in here and attack. You'll also wanna notice that if we draw a trend line up here, I'm. I am leaving this little um, area out because it's just kind of an outlier here 
um, as you can see, we're also breaking that upside trend here in the chart. So we definitely need those bulls to step up here and find some inspiration or this can get pretty ugly pretty quickly. Now, if the bulls do find that inspiration, then I would look for a recovery of this support level. Get back above here. Um, we could test some price levels up in here and that downtrend area, but we're going to need some proof that we can hold that higher low in the chart. So watch carefully for that. Um, let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX, here we go. Our VIX yesterday continued to move slightly higher. Wasn't really showing any panic by any means, but continued to move a little bit higher in that market. So we have broken that downtrend here and we did break above a little bit of price resistance in the chart, but we still have additional price resistance levels in here to work this chart pretty hard. So the question I think for now is now that we've broken that downtrend, will we hold above that downtrend or will we find a resistance point and fail right back below? If we were to hold this downtrend as support someplace and then continue to move up, that's where we run into that fear where the problem could come into the market. There's no signs of that yet, but we will wanna be keeping an eye on it. This certainly has changed a little bit here over the last few days of trading. Now, if we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 has been so overbought here for, for such a long time that we did need this pullback and the pullback has improved that situation dramatically. And yesterday we had just a little teeny tiny tick higher here in T2122. The problem with this is we haven't completed the um, uh, the selling here to move us back into the bearish reversal zone. We don't have to um, move all the way back down. You can see uh, points in time where we're down in this area and we rally back up down in this area and rally back up. So we don't have to complete that, but what it does show us is that we still have that opportunity if the bears find inspiration for more push down, there's room to go down here um, in T2122. If those bears find, bulls find inspiration, then of course we've opened a big opportunity for that upside. But we will keep in mind that that big opportunity has got quite a little bit of resistance above. So we'll want to watch that close. Now, if we take a look at our T2108, T2108 continuing to relieve some of that overbought pressure here. And I think this is a really good thing. We've needed this and the pullback um, hasn't been extreme. So if you take a look across here, we've got quite a little bit of price action support in here in that chart. And although we have pulled back from, you know, better than 70% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average to, um, you know, 58, 60% of those stocks above the 40 day, um, I think that's a good relief right at the moment. And if we were to move even a little bit lower, we still have quite a little bit of price congestion in this area here that could um, help us find support in the chart. Unfortunately, that might break some of those support levels in those index charts, so watch carefully. If we were to take a look at our T2107, the percentage of stocks holding above the 200 day, you can see we've had a light pullback in here. So at least we've relieved some of that frothiness that we've seen in the market, pulling that back 43% of the stocks um, holding up here above their 200 day. And we still have significant levels of price support in here. So I don't see anything wrong with this chart. This would be just kind of a natural resting pullback here in the market. So if you're bullish, this uh, feeling bullish about the market and or really believing in the Santa Claus rally, this would be a hint that you may be right. So watch that close. Now our T2107, uh, continues to be a little, or T2101, um, continues to be a bit on the confused side. We're whipsawing in a very small range here in the chart. Whip up, whip down, whip up, whip down. And I think the reason that is, is we continue to suffer. If you look there at the, at the SPY um, volume yesterday, we continue to suffer a little bit of lack of volume here. We're just not finding that inspiration. And, and 
and, and it's understandable too with the data that we have coming, you know, just kind of the hurry up and wait situation um, that we're seeing here. Everyone is chomping at the bit to get something going, but um, not feeling so confident as to rush in, in, in ahead of some of these data um, points coming our way. And particularly when we're, there's just a parade of CEOs and financial institutions warning of recession, that earnings are not going to be good next quarter, those kind of things. That's just continuing to drive that sentiment of the market, that willingness to speculate hard about the data points. Um, it's kind of driving it away um, at the moment. So watch that close. Now let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here today. In our economic calendar, we've got um, just a little bit on that calendar to be thinking about today, nothing major, but we will be getting those jobless claims. And what we know about jobs right now is the Fed's watching this pretty closely. Um, what we need to probably see, and it's unfortunate that that's the case, but bad news is good news for the market right now. If we get um, layoffs coming in stronger than expected, you could see the market react bullishly to that. If those jobs come in stronger, you know, um, where there's not as many layoffs, um, uh, we're still holding onto those numbers, the market could react negatively to that. Now, unfortunately, when we look at the consensus, they are only looking for a little teeny tiny increase in um, job losses here. So, and remember our initial claims dropped hard last week. So we need to see those perk back up a little bit for some bullishness in the market. Now, if we take a look here, we've got you know quarterly survey sur uh, you know survey uh, nobody's gonna uh, probably not gonna make a big reaction in the market we've got natural gas report probably not gonna make a big reaction in the market we've got bond auctions here in a fed balance sheet again probably not gonna create a big reaction in the market but what that does tell us is after we get through the morning data here we could just end up in another chop zony uh, type market, very boring uh, type day as we wait for the PPI number. That's where we could get some substantial reaction. And remember, we've got an FOMC rate decision with Fed Fund Futures suggesting a 50 basis point increase next Wednesday. So those data points are weighing heavy on the market right now. So don't be surprised after that morning um, data if we don't turn into a little bit of a choppy uh, market, kind of boring situation as we rest and hopefully rest along those support levels in the index charts. Now on the earnings calendar, when we look at that earnings calendar, we do have a few things that we want to be paying attention to today that definitely could provide um, some uh, inspiration for bulls or bears. Now. Um, there's no morning blog today. I, um, I've been suffering with a little bit of a health problem here, nothing major, but just, uh, it was a rough night last night. So um, didn't do a blog today, but I'm gonna go over, there's not too many um, earnings reports here this morning. Um, and I'm recording this video a little bit early, so it can be a bit longer today. Let's take a look here. Um, some of the earnings reports that you may wanna be paying attention to. Um, and I think probably the one that could be the most market moving is AVGO Broadcom. Um, looking at Broadcom here, you can see Broadcom has run up nicely here, but we're still challenged um, with this downtrend here in the chart and price resistance. So we'll wanna be watching this one pretty closely because uh, Broadcom is a major supplier to Apple. And we already know that Apple um, has rejected um, its um, uh, downtrend here selling back off and we know that they're running into lots of complications with their manufacturing and production so if Broadcom gives us the hint that Apple is in trouble then that could be market moving to the downside here remember if Apple gets sick it is the largest market cap company in the world if Apple gets sick 
then I think it catches a cold. I think the rest of the, the market could get, at least the tech sector, could um, uh, that contagion could spread a little bit. So watch that closely in Broadcom. However, if this comes in and says, hey, things are fine, things are great, way better than we expected, then that could be bullish for the market. So keep an eye on uh, Broadcom. Other stocks out there that I think are notable today, I'll run through these really quickly. Uh, Chewy. Um, C-I-E-N. Um, Costco, of course, is always a potential market mover. And you can see Costco has been reacting pretty darn negatively here lately with the thought process of a recession and consumers pulling back, reacting negatively to its downtrend. So watch that carefully today. Um, I've got a couple in here. Um, you know that were kind of favored stocks since the uh, you know in the pandemic um, how the mighty have fallen here um, DocuSign almost back down to its IPO price um, this could be an important report for them today as well we're gonna hear from uh, Momo um, we've got Lululemon reporting now this has been on a bullish tear to the upside watch some of these resistance levels in the chart could be an important report for Lulu we've got uh, FIZZ that might be interesting because we've been seeing a lot of these defensive sector type stocks um, doing pretty well and holding up so keep an eye on Fizz we've got restoration hardware running into quite a few challenges, downtrending, um, and, and that's kind of understandable considering the condition of the housing market. Um, so watch that. And the last uh, but not least is um, Vail Resorts. Vail has rallied here pretty substantially here just recently, breaking through some resistance. So this will be an important report here, whether or not they can produce well enough to um, push that on higher, because if this were to fail and break this support again, that'd be a little bit of a problem for um, Vail. Those are the notables for today. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that subscribe or click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow thank you so much for everyone who does do that and shares these videos out on their social media feed helps the channel to continue to grow we're moving toward 30,000 uh, where the growth is, of the channel has slowed down a lot but um, I too truly appreciate all the help and support from everyone out there but maybe if you can help me out we can hit a goal of 30,000 here by the end of the year um, in the channel by sharing these videos thank you so much for everyone who does take that time to do that let's take a look at um, some stock setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or, or sell any securities As a matter of fact you're gonna have to do your own due diligence and be very very careful about um, this market with these data points coming our way now first off let's take a look at a few few of the defensive sector stocks I mentioned that earlier that are holding up and doing pretty well take a look at coca-cola nice little platform rest beautiful little upside trend it's been moving up very very uh, methodically that's a great sign unfortunately you do have to worry about this big resistance area up here in this chart we've got potential bullish setup here but a lot of resistance above so keep an eye on coke but how about stocks like CPB, Campbell Soup reporting earnings and just smoking hot here yesterday. I think this needs a rest or pullback. I wouldn't chase this, but Campbell Soup might be something you want to put on a list and watch for that resting pullback for that next entry into the trade. And uh, staying on this same line, um, take a look at um, stocks like Altria another defensive sector stock breaking through price resistance pulling back trying to test and hold support watch this area out here we've got a trend it may have to rest here for a little bit look for that opportunity in Altria you might want to take a look at like KHC Kraft Heinz showing lots of bullishness here you can see I placed a price alert in here we pushed right on up through there we're holding on to this upside trend whoops 
my tools changed on me here. Um, so you'll want to watch that closely. But as this moves on through to the upside, if that can hold this support level, I think that is a bullish chart. You can see the same kind of things in Colgate Palmolive, nice upside move going on in the chart. So quite a few of those um, defensive sector stocks, consumer staple type stocks, looking pretty good. The other thing that's notable about these is they're dividend payers. So watch that closely. Now, other things that are, aren't aren't really in that dividend paying area, or, or I mean uh, defensive sector area, but still showing some pretty good signs. Take a look at AT&T. AT&T is, uh, I know it's a boring stock. It's you know, mind-numbingly boring um, a lot of times. But when you look at AT&T here, that is a very bullish pattern here. Holding up in the chart, we've been edging on up a great dividend pair. If you look at Verizon, Verizon also starting to come up out of this bottom, not nearly as bullish. Um, got a lot more work here to do. As a matter of fact, I would say at this point in time, we need to kind of break back through resistance and hold a higher low um, before I'd be too interested in that. But you can see it is trying to bottom in here. And then things like uh, Pfizer. Pfizer doing a really good job here pushing up in the chart um, looking very, very strong. Um, kind of carrying on with the healthcare theme, take a look at um, United Health. It's been pushing back up, trying to address these resistance levels in the chart. If that has that opportunity to push on through, um, I would be keeping an eye on um, UNH here in the chart. And then, of course, I showed you some stocks that um, are reporting earnings like Lululemon, um, been on a nice upside move, breaking through resistance. I'd stay away from this until that earnings report is passed because we could sink pretty hard as we've seen some of these retailers miss and they sink pretty hard. But if this holds up in here, then there may be some opportunities in stocks like Lulu. Um, so watch that close. Um, other places, um, I think, in the market, you might want to take a look at AXP. Ameri American Express um, has been trying to get something going here. You can see popping and failing, popping and failing. But we're still holding here in these higher lows. And pretty choppy in here, but holding... Um, um, this upside trend. Um, watch that close if it can break through some of this bigger resistance in the chart. AXP may have some upside opportunity. So with that guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Um, I wish you all kinds of success in your trading and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have an awesome, awesome day and I wish you all the best.